everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to do a quick video on my recent Arrow video haul. Uh, picked up quite a few titles, some back titles and some new releases. So to start off with, I'm going to start off with the only DVD I picked up in this haul. And it is the Agento and Romero double biller from a classic tale from Edgar Allan Poe. And that is Two Evil Eyes. Fantastic artwork as usual on the front here. So... Not seen this and i'll say now i've not seen any of these pickups today so i can't give my opinion which is crap i know i know i know i need to go and watch these movies but i've just had a bit of a splurge in the haul so anyway to start off we've got the dvd release of two evil eyes uh seen the trailer read the synopsis looks great looks all right head fuck look at them pictures on the back it looks like a typical classic arrow release with agento and romero uh goodness so yeah two evil eyes next up is zero the zero boys by a film by nico i'm not even gonna pronounce the name that bloke there yeah anyway uh recently arrow had a sale a sale and so picked up a few which uh i wanted to put in the collection so zero boys excited to watch this next up is satan's blade I've heard this is kind of like a supernatural slasher. So this is from, well, it was released in 1984. So I'm hoping it's going to be some some quality 80s slasher. But yes, it says Satan's Blade is an eerie slice of US regional terror ripe for rediscovery by horror fans. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to watching this and I hope it is a quality 80s slasher movie. But great artwork on the game. Sorry about the glare, but yeah. That's Satan's Blade. Next up is a Giallo movie I've not seen. And I've heard they're remaking this one. And this is What Have You Done to Solange? Uh, really, really excited to see this one. So it's from the cinematographer office full of dollars and a few dollars more. So um, uh, I know it's going to look good. Uh, but yeah, I've, like I said, I've heard they're remaking this. And I forget who's been announced or rumoured to be in it. But anyway, fantastic artwork from Arrow again. And that's again picked up in their recent sale. Uh, their sales are great when they come on. They really reduce the prices. And that's where I try and pick up a lot of back catalogue titles. So yeah, what have you done to Solange? Next up is a recent release. And this just looks fantastic, the trailer. I mean, it's about slugs with teeth. What is it, mutant alien slugs? I don't know. But it just looks great. The trailer just looks pure 80s trash. Uh, I'm trying to see where it's released. I want to say 80s. Yeah. Is it? I don't know, I can't see it, I can't see it. No, I'm blabbering, I'm going to shut up. Anyway, we're going to move on, we're going to move on. Slugs. Looks ace. Looks, I mean, look at that artwork. Truly badass. Can't wait to watch this. Go and watch the trailer, go buy Slugs. Next up is a set I was going to buy, uh, but I bought them individually because they're in the recent HMV 3 for 20, 5 for 30. And that, has, that is uh, another Edgar Allan Poe story, and it's, wait for it, it's a long tale. Your vice is a locked room and only I have the key. Yep, don't really know much about it, but adding it to the collection. I really want to go for a complete collection. The only buggers in that are the Dawn and the Dead and the Day of the Dead box, uh, window box editions, because they fucking ask for a lot of money. Right, next up to go with that is the Black Key release. Black Key? Fucking Black Key? That's a band. Great band, by the way, Black Keys, but this is The Black Cat. Uh, yeah, again, sounds really good, this one. Uh, okay, a young couple goes missing in a sleepy English village. So I hope it has like a an old school Sherlock Holmes tone. But who knows? I'll watch it and find out, I suppose. Right, next up is probably one of their, my most anticipated releases this year. And you've seen it, it's The Hills of Eyes. The original from 1977. Again... Attempted watching this twice and never just never bothered watching it from start to finish. I don't know why. I mean, one of the copies I did watch was uh, one of the copies. It was actually on TV one night, like the horror channel or some crap channel like that. And I just couldn't be asked to finish it. But anyway, The Hills of Eyes, fantastic release. I'm not going to take it out here, but you get standard ammo case, you get poster, and you get booklet. Uh, I've seen the original. I'll, sorry, I've seen the remake, but. I think the remake's fucking brilliant. 
and it's brutal and it's just a great horror movie. So I've kind of got this movie or the, the synopsis and the storyline of the movie up at quite a pedestal. So I'm hoping the original, I'm sure it will, but I'm hope, I've got it quite high. So I expect good things and it's worth craving, you know, rest in peace you ledge. Next up is a box set we want to pick up, uh, early 70s Giallo movies, and this is the Killer Dames box set. Beautiful box set. I love Arrow box sets. They're really decent quality. None of this cheap, cardboardy shit. They're just, this, they seem value for money. And this was actually on, a, uh, keep checking Amazon's daily deals, because this was a daily deal for Prime members, and it was like 20 quid, like 20, 21 pounds. It's great, so I jumped all on that. And this comes with two releases, if I can get the buggers out. Booklet, as usual. Don't know if I'll ever read that. All right, next up are the Blu-rays. Uh, first off of the releases is The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave. Look at that artwork, fantastic severed head there. He doesn't look happy, does he? But yeah, looking forward to watching that. And the next one is The Red Queen Kills Seven Times. That female red queen killer looks fucking badass it looks like red riding hood meets a gothic depressed young lady i don't know but uh kind of reminds me actually looking at it is you know the like pig thing from saw the original you know where she crawls out but yeah if you've seen saw and you know i'm not mentally you know what i mean the pig thing right and last but not least is a fantastic steelbook and it is the burning seems to have sold out by the looks of it uh i remember i got this off amazon you know uh again not seen this uh really really excited i might actually as soon as i've stopped blabbering and shut this video off and go and put this bad boy on uh it says here notorious video nasty from the 80s it, it looks fantastic it, Especially when it's talking here of, uh, of special effects by the legend that is Tom Savini. So I'm expecting high things. Uh, high things? I've got high expectations for this bad boy. So this is, I'm, I'm really excited. The two I'm really excited about are these two to watch. Because they're kind of like infamous horror movies of like 70s and 80s. So they're kind of like, kind of, um, not mainstream, but kind of more well known and highly uh, recommended and, and put up on a pedestal of their quality so anyway really excited to watch the burning and the steel book as you can see there fantastic artwork i've just seen that arrow have announced that they're going to release the amore so if you missed out on the steel book pick up the amore when it's released is it late this year january next year i can't remember but yeah uh i'll show you the real artwork but i've left the j card on the back but yeah that is my pickups of arrow goodness hope you like it uh, let me know what you think of the films I've shown today guys if you've seen them so put your comments down below and uh, I hope you return and I'll see you guys again next time peace